At the time of this initial release, the latest stable Blender version is 3.0. The 2.93 LTS release should also still work, but is largely untested and not officially supported. There are two ways to install Punchit. First, from inside of Blender using the zip file. To do this, open Blender's preferences and go to the add-ons tab. Ensure your settings are the same as mine here. Click on the install button and navigate to your downloaded Punchit zip file. Select it and confirm. After a short delay, Punchit should appear. Activate it. You can unfold it to reveal the add-on preferences. Save your preferences if they aren't saved automatically. If you ever require product support, it is through this button and via email. No other way. Punchit sets the Shift E key map. So if you have chosen this installation method, skip forward in the video to test the tool. The second installation method is the manual one in your file browser. Navigate to your zip file and extract it. If you see a folder containing the version number, you need to go one level deeper. You are looking for a folder just called Punchit. It needs to contain the init.py file. Copy that folder. Navigate to your Blender add-ons directory. Then paste the Punchit folder. Start Blender and bring up Blender's preferences. Go to the Add-ons tab and search for Punchit. It's activated for me already, but you will have to click the checkbox if it isn't yet. If you are doing an update installation of a newer version, then it would also be active already. Unfold the add-on preferences. Product support is exclusively done via this button and through email. To test punch it, take any mesh object and go into edit mode. Select a face and hit Shift E. Punching is a two-step process. Check out the status bar for more information and watch the dedicated video about how to use the tool.